your frontal lobes, but with none of the pitfalls. Oh, and it goes on to say that they use, is that a vaccine article? Because I don't see it in the article. They're not saying what the treatment is. The headline is vaccine, new vaccine to cure depression. That's it. Boom. And, 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 and that was some other type of uh, uh, treatment. I'm going to look it up and see what that was. I'll find it during the break. It doesn't matter. We're going to break here in just a moment. Uh, the issue here is that I'm just trying to warn people, and I don't claim to be the best at this. All I know is I've done the research. It's real, and then some. I mean, people think I'm fear-mongering. Folks, it's so much crazier than I can tell you. It's so much further along, and I've got all the Rockefeller documents. I've got them all. I mean, I'll just do it during the break. I'm going to type in vaccine to, 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 to stop drug abuse, vaccine to cure depression, uh, vaccine to cure being angry, vaccine to cure being anxious. Go look it up for yourself. And they're not even vaccines. They're live viruses that go in and eat certain areas of your brain. It's all coming up after the break. Infowars.com. Okay, we're back, and I did find the articles. Jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down. It goes on to say you won't be angry, you won't get upset anymore, you'll just be able to work and won't have any more painful emotions. And it goes on with the University of California developing it, part of a wide spectrum of anti-depression vaccines. And again, we'll show folks that headline if they want to be able to go and uh, find that article for themselves. There's a whole bunch of these, and our big article breaks it all down. This is from 2010, Brady Vaccines, the Reality Behind the Conspiracy Theory. Wired Magazine hit piece attempts to debunk legitimate concerns about agenda to chemically lobotomize general public through vaccines water supply. And all I was doing was linking to Department of Defense, Daily Mail, and other reports where they said they're going to cure racism by giving us vaccines that eat the part of the brain that can recognize cultural or racial differences. Uh, in fact, I forgot that part. In fact, that was in the news last week. Guys, uh, search uh, drug could cure racism. Well, that just means getting rid of a part of the brain that makes different calculations. Folks, they're openly saying arrest us if we don't believe in man-made global warming. They're authoritarians. We're all in danger. This is a scientific dictatorship. If corrupt elites had things that could make the public servile, would they use them? You bet. They now admit they put the fluoride in the water to make a servile and to calcify the pineal gland, the gland that does a chemical reaction with the cerebral cortex for deep spiritual moments. When people can't be bought for money, when people are ready to give their lives for others, the system is afraid of that. Let's go to this Pentagon briefing that got leaked. I've now learned that the guy that released this was arrested. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I tell you, I'm glad that caller called. I've been doing a lot of research during, during the breaks. The gentleman that leaked this, and the Pentagon has confirmed this is their video. The guy that released this was arrested, who was part of the program. Here is a Pentagon briefing seven years ago in 2005. Here it is. A light lit up um, the, the right middle frontal gyrus uh, shown here. And uh, that's a part of the brain that's associated with theory of mind. Uh, it's a part of the brain that, that uh, has to do with intents and, and beliefs and, and desires. Uh, in contrast, in marked contrast, here's an individual who would uh, not particularly uh, self-describe as, as religious. And when they're read a religious text, <clears throat> what you see is that this part of the brain called the anterior insula lights up. This is a part of the brain that's associated with, with disgust or displeasure on hearing something. Uh, so you're suggesting I take a CT scan with me when I'm uh, evaluating people to determine whether I put a bullet in their head? So, so um, the, the data that I'm presenting here uh, supports uh, the, the concept that, that we're proposing. Uh, and I think that uh, we would not propose to do uh, CT scans or fMRIs on on individuals out in the hinterlands of, of Afghanistan 
the virus would immunize against this VMAT2 gene, and that would, would have the effect that you see here, which is it's essentially to turn a fanatic into a, a, a normal person. And we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed in aerosol? Well, so, so hey, the, the present uh, plan... Back it up, back it up, back it up 10 seconds. How do you propose this be dispersed, aerosols? Again, won't sell out, has hardcore beliefs in the spiritual center of the brain. We'll make them a normal person, these people that don't care. You see this professor at this big UN event in Europe calling for people's arrest and says we're mentally ill and have to be re-educated into accepting what they say. It's about making you do what they say. Headline, climate change skeptic, a sickness that must be treated, says professor. And I've asked Paul to do a whole article going through how they're saying this everywhere. They're saying arrest people. These are authoritarians. They'll do this. And by the way, the whistleblower that released this went on to break down, and I've separately confirmed what's in here separately from government documents, that they're already now giving this to the troops, many of them, and that they're looking at putting it in the flu shots. We're in so much trouble. We're, the public are zombies, a lot of them, that got that flu shot. Let's, that's why they can't care anymore. Let's go back to the video. Go back. Essentially, go. to turn a fanatic into a a, a normal person, and we think that will have major effects in the Middle East. How would you suggest that this is going to be dispersed? The aerosol. Well, so so the the present uh, plan and the tests that we've done so far um, have used uh, uh, respiratory viruses uh, such as flu or or uh, rhinoviruses. And uh, we believe that that's a satisfactory way to get the exposure of the largest uh, part of the population. Most of us, of course, have, ha have been exposed to both of those viruses. All right, and, folks, and we'll be back with the rest of confident. it. We're on the march. The so you refuse to turn your firearms in. You refuse because it's an absolute belief that it's your right and it, it's a line in the sand. Well, they're just going to give you vaccines that destroy the resistance sector of your brain. Also, the area that sees and recognizes incredible beauty that is associated with the highest levels of brainwave activity. That's what happens in spiritual experiences. And I actually see atheists uh, on this video online going, good, it's time to shut up all you religious people. This isn't just about religion. It's about serious beliefs. This is associated with the spark of special human intellect. This is lobotomizing people. And notice the people that call themselves the left are like, good, lobotomize the public. Arrest them if they don't believe in climate change. Let us run things. They're not liberals. This woman, give me a document cam shot of for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. Climate change skepticism, a sickness that must be treated, says Professor. And when I called Paul about his article this weekend that went mega viral and got picked up by scores of newspapers, linking to her paper, she was at the big UN meeting, Planet Under Pressure for Earth Hour. I said, this isn't enough. I want links to all the other places where this isn't just her. They're openly saying everywhere, arrest everybody. Arrest and re-educate us. That's who we're dealing with. You don't think people like that would not release stuff like this in a New York minute? Zoom in a little bit more on that for folks. Used to, we could zoom right in and show people the text. Here, I'll put it over there. You can show people over there. So I'm going to put some other articles down there for the record. Climate change skepticism, a sickness. It must be treated, says Professor. Global warming alarmist equates climate change with racism. And so you've got to arrest these evil people. Let me show you some other stuff. Vaccine to stop heart attacks could be here in five years. Oh, they care about us. Then I got a big stack of articles we were able to dig up. Vaccines for drug addiction. Make the kids take them. Oh, What's it do? It's a live virus that eats holes in your brain. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, it is the end of humanity. They're getting us all ready to give us soft kill weapons that make us servile jellyfish. 
that even as they release the mega plagues of the future and almost everybody's dying, folks will just be calm. I don't know what the TV say. Okay. And they'll just die with pleasure because those areas of their brain have been destroyed. And that's why they want the Arab Spring to roll in with the inoculations, with the chemtrailing. They've got to get in the airspace. We're hit with aluminum. We're hit with barium. All of it attacks the brain. We're hit with the fluoride, hits the exact areas that they associated in mammal studies. And they admit in these documents they've been doing this to monkeys and now people at Abu Ghraib at the research facility. And at Camp X-Ray in Guantanamo. That's what they want. They want you to, oh man, I, I just can't believe this. I've always known this issue is ever, and then for seven years, this has been out there and it got leaked last year and they arrested the guy that released this video we're playing right now. Uh, let, 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 let's play just four minutes of it from the start. And I got Watson doing a big article on this, but uh, if you want to find the article about how you won't be depressed anymore, Daily Mail, jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down. Forget the age-old remedies of yoga, meditation, and popping pills. Receiving colonic stress, chronic stress, could soon be as simple as having an injection, according to scientists. And see, they hide it in plain view. Oh, we're just looking at a stress reliever, like a cup of tea in the afternoon. <laughs> Academics say they're close to developing the first vaccine for stress, a single jab that could help us relax without slowing down, being a good worker. And I went and looked it up, and it's one of the live viruses. After 30 years of research into cures for stress, Dr. Robert Saposky, professor of neuroscience at Stanford University in California, believes it's possible to alter brain chemistry to create a state of focused calm. They're going to make us the better human. They're going to arrest us if we don't do what they say for climate change and give them all the power, too. Aren't we lucky we've got them, Professor Claims he is on the path to genetically engineered formula that would resolve the need for relaxation or prescription drugs. And it goes on with a special vaccine biologically designed by destroying brain cells that are associated with causing the problem. Hmm. Oh, yes, a shot. I mean, it's like a science fiction movie. You're going to have the shot and then no more problems, no more pain. Back to the Pentagon briefing. With the Pentagon code, I checked it all. The Pentagon, they arrested the guy that released this. Joey Lombardi, I want to get a hold of him if he's out of jail. He got arrested last year. Let's go ahead and go to this clip. Here it is. Excuse me, on the left over here, we have individuals who are religious fun fundamentalists, religious fanatics, and this is the expression, uh, RT-PCR, real-time PCR uh, expression of the VMAT2 gene. Over here, Dr. we have Hello. individuals, in so, 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 so let, let me complete. So over here, we have uh, individuals who are not particularly uh, fundamentalists, not particularly religious, and you can see there's a, a much reduced uh, expression of, of this particular gene, the, the VMAT2 uh, gene. Uh, another evidence that, that supports our, our hypothesis for the development of, of, of this um, approach. Uh, so what you, what you see here is by, by, by spreading this virus, we're going to eliminate individuals from donning on a bomb vest and going into a market and blowing up the market. So our, our hypothesis is that these are fanatical people, uh, that they have overexpression of the VMAT2 gene and that by vaccinating them against this will eliminate this behavior. Uh, so we have some some very very uh, remarkable data in this next slide. Uh, here we have two uh, brain scans. These are fMRIs. Uh, these are two different individuals with different levels of expression of VMAT2. Uh, on Back it up 10 seconds. Thank you. What do you think elites are going to do with weapons? They're going to develop this stuff they have, and they're going to deploy it. You think autism going from one in 25,000 30 years ago to one in 50-something now? You think cancer up over 10,000 percentage points in children, two 